Hi everyone, I'm Jillian Andrews and this is The Law Down where personal injury attorney Brooke Goff shares advice on important legal topics. Brooke, welcome back. Thank you. All right, so today we're talking about dog bites. If you or your child right. is bitten by a dog, what's the first thing you do? Call in, well, obviously get medical attention. If it's not to the point of medical attention, I recommend whenever there's a dog bite, you get medical attention. Rabies is real. And I'm telling you, you do not want to be on the other end of that. The treatment for rabies is real too, by the way. So those of you that decide not to get your dogs vaccinated, if your dog bites somebody, there's going to be a series of shots. I just had a medical bill come in from a client that was um, bitten by a non-vaccinated dog and had to go through the treatments. It was 48,000. Wow. Um, so there's yeah. a lot of other serious complications with just beyond yeah. your dog biting and someone. They didn't know if he had, I mean, obviously they don't know if my client has it, but they have to treat him so that he doesn't right. get it. And the problem with that is that, you know, you're, that just made the case worth like over 100,000, right? So no matter how bad the bite is, because I already have almost 50 in bills, right? So you have to understand that medical treatment is key, but you also have to call animal control. Animal control is going to make sure that the dog is vaccinated, so you're going to get that answer. But it's also going to find out who owns the dog. It's going to make sure that there's a record made of, okay, this dog has bitten somebody before. And these are things that are useful for, well, really for the reason if the dog bites somebody else in the future, right? Um, you know, animal control, having the owner's name and where they live is huge because with these types of cases, uh, these are homeowners insurance or renters insurance cases. So if you have a dog that's just randomly out there and you don't know who owns it, how are you going to bring a claim, right? In the event that you have, you know, you get or bitten by a dog and you never make a report, who's the, how are you going to prove that it was that dog that bit you? So animal control plays a big role here. And as I said, make sure that the dog is vaccinated. So if it's not, you can do what you need to do on your end or your kid can do what they need to do on yeah, their end. On, on top of that, if right. viewers at home have a dog that maybe has some stranger <clears throat> danger and is not good around yeah. new people, is there any way they can protect themselves for a situation? Put a muzzle on it. Um, I'll tell you, you know, every dog is, is amazing. Oh my, you know, all these people are like, oh my dog's so friendly, super friendly. Every dog is super friendly until they're not. And it's typically not that a dog's not friendly. Even the most vicious of dogs are friendly. The issue is they get spooked, they get scared. They, they, get, they get triggered that way. There's so, other environmental factors. Yeah, I can't, I can't tell you how many times, um, you know, I've seen people and they're out walking their dog or whatever, and somebody stops and says, can I pet your dog? And they're like, yes, and I sit here and I'm like, oh, here we go. And they go to pet, and they, even little kids, Kids, I would never. I have my dog is awesome, Daisy. She's never been a person in her life. I don't even know if she know how to bite somebody. But I'm telling you, anytime anybody asks about her, especially little kids, I'm like, no, we're good, or you know, like, or like, oh no, but you can talk to her. You can like, and it's usually fine. I, I, I it's not even about getting sued. Why I don't do it? I, I mean, listen, like the things yep. happen, right? We all have insurance. It's because I've seen what dog bites look like on kids. Yeah, and it's usually their face, and it's usually awful. It's, it's usually really disfiggering, situation. and you can't fix it. You yeah. can't, once you have a scar on your face, you can't bring it back. Yeah, and that's all we have time for. That's it. Okay, so, and anyone wanting to learn more information, you can always visit gofflawgroup.net. For Connecticut's Morning Buzz, I'm Jillian Andrews.